ADEX Solar Nigeria Limited, in partnership with Computer Aid International, based in the United Kingdom, has delivered a solar powered learning hub empowerment initiative to Senior State High School, GRE Ikeja, as part of their commitment to educational development, ICT skills empowerment, and addressing climate change challenges. This initiative signifies a comprehensive approach to education, youth empowerment, and sustainable development. During the handover ceremony, Mr. Jemaine Somulu, Senior Special Advisor to Governor Babajide Somulu of Lagos State on Diaspora, commended the donors for contributing to shaping a brighter and more resilient future for the youth of Lagos State. He encouraged Nigerians in the diaspora to invest in community development projects in Nigeria, particularly in Lagos, to support the growth and success of the youth. This is what the diaspora impact looks like. There's someone who lives in the United Kingdom who has seen the need in um, the educational system in Lagos and has sown a seed to reap a harvest of innovation, of information, of creativity in the lives of the young ones. These people are not just the future of to our future leaders, but they are the emerging leaders of today. And we have to find ways of encouraging and empowering them. And information is a good tool to empower them. I, as I said earlier, that information, knowledge is power, but knowledge is maximized when it's utilized. So the more they are able to use the information they've gathered, the better they were and better their chances will be in society. So we commend this um, noble, noble venture and um, um, investment. It's also a sustainable one because it's using solar energy and also um, it's renewable. That means it can sustain itself. It's related, I think, 10, 10 desktops and also 20 laptops, um, a projector. Um, it's, it's amazing what, they had, what Mr. the Adex Solar Energy, in collaboration, I think, with a, another company, have done to make this thing a great success. So diasporans, wherever you are in the world, and Nigerians, wherever you are in the world, please invest in Lagos, invest in Nigeria, so that our youths can actually grow and succeed. Mr. Peter Ogundokun, Lagos State Project Manager for ADEX Solar Nigeria Limited, said the company would ensure that the facility is maintained and well utilized. He urged governments at all levels to collaborate with stakeholders to provide a 21st century learning experience for students. Why we have done this is to show people, to show basically to show government agencies to let them know that the students can get enough ICT knowledge, ICT skills without electricity. We are hoping to get more deals, basically to do more in more of the schools. Because if we can put this in each local government basically that is basically we are working on community development if each government if each local government can embrace this idea and let us work hand in hand we can do this for our students they don't need to start going out to look for where to train even in their school they can start learning how to do learn more about cbt with this uh, facility that we have in place now the students can easily come here to do their assignments they can make research, they can Google on any topic that they must have found difficult for them to do in the class. So they come in and make research. And the, the teachers also can also use the facility for them during lesson. Teachers can decide to bring the students in there to teach them using the um, projector that has been put into place there. In a year time, to some extent, you understand, the anticipation is that the students, let's say more than 50% of the population of the students, I expect it that they are computer literate. They become much more rooted in computer, considering their pace of nowadays. This program, a project, is of great advantage to the students. And I know as they are going to make good use of it, it will benefit them very, very well. And they will be good for it. That means it will affect them in the future to come out in a better color. Actually, all these, they are online something. This one will be a place where they can learn, 
practically you can see the roll from here before they get out there. From this week ongoing, uh, SS3 students will be having their CBT um, exams. We usually have a CBT test every Wednesday, Thursdays and Fridays. So many of them have not had access to the internet, so they'll be coming here every week to do that. So that's going to be basic. And then we also have people that we go for competitions. So we can have people come to research, maybe for the big competition, science project and all of that. They will have the opportunity to make researches for all those projects and competitions. So it's going to be very valuable. The student expressed gratitude, acknowledging that the donation will significantly enhance their computer skills. And I want to really appreciate the, um, the people involved in the initiation of this program and the partners that have delivered such a wonderful project. Indeed, it is going to be a great opportunity for us, the students of this school, to tap in into this great resource and be able to activate it in, in the bid to create a better future. Most of the students, especially SS3 students, me, myself, I'm computer illiterate, I will not lie. So it's going to be helpful in that aspect that us that we are going to be doing JAM is going to help us in knowing how to operate the computers and it's also going to be helpful in case we want to do an immediate search to be able to go there and do what we want to do.